Today we're taking a deep dive into the temperament of the boxer. They've been one of the most popular protection breeds in the US and in Europe for decades and for good reason. They're amazing guardians that are chock full of powerful muscles, love and silly antics. So let's look at that in a little bit more detail. Welcome back to the Femrear Boxer Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm the founder and canine behaviorist here at FemrearCanineLeaders.com. And this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly want to know about the glorious boxer, then how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect boxer companions. So if you love the boxer as much as we do here at Femrear, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and you'll never miss one of our future boxer dog videos. So then let's dive into today's video and we'll take a look at what makes the boxer so popular around the world as a professional with military and police organisations as well as in the home as a fantastic lovable companion. And before we can know where we're going with a breed we need to know where they originated from and why and that'll help us understand their temperament in much more detail. Now the boxer is a German breed whose ancestor was the ferocious Bullenbeiser dog. These massive dogs were used in big game hunts and blood sports that thankfully weren't popular for very long. Now the Bullenbeiser is now extinct but some of their noble qualities live on in their smaller descendants, the boxer. More mellow in temperament, the boxer we know today is still a fierce protector of its family and has been a capable police and military dog since 1904 when the breed was standardised. So then a large part of what makes the boxer so adept in police and military work is its high energy and willingness to please. They've been very successful protection dogs and have proven to be capable multitaskers with the addition of scent work training. Now, in general, the breed is protective of their home and family. They're very high energy, they're extremely playful and have very loving, soft personalities. These qualities give them a wonderful temperament as a family companion as well as a higher level working breed. Now, the boxer is incredibly intelligent and capable of being a very high-level canine athlete. They are quick, uh, they are really willing to please and quick to act on your command, so they frequently rise to the top rankings in agility and protection work competitions. They are best for an experienced canine leader that is calm and consistent with their training, yet can keep it fun and keep the boxer engaged. Hey guys, very quickly, in case you didn't know, we have our perfect puppy program. It's the program that I designed myself as a canine behaviorist to help you guys become a high level canine leader yourself, and then how to be able to take your puppy from the second you bring it home, all the way through to that dream of the perfect canine companion that you've always wanted. So if you want more information on that there'll be a link down in the description box below thousands of people have now gone through that process to extremely high levels of success so there's some testimonials you can go and check out more information it's all in the description box below but let's get back into the video you were just watching now you may find the soft personality of the boxer doesn't do well in environments where there are blurry boundaries and harsh corrections this is a canine that could easily become fearful and reactive and worst scared and miserable at best. Now neither of these are outcomes are acceptable and it's why I highly recommend that only very experienced canine leaders consider adding boxers to their home. Now if you are that leader then the softer personality of the boxer will make them a true delight to train, play and live with. They'll easily keep up with you on long hikes or runs that make great training sessions since they need to work some energy off before they can really focus on complex commands. Now their energy fuels their playful nature and you'll find that most boxers are quite vocal and even use their front paws like hands to grab toys. When they're fired up they may bark and are likely to make a, a woo-woo kind of howl-bark combo. When they get their name boxer from the tendency to use their front paws like a boxer in a fighting ring, hooking and jabbing their opponents. In this case, that's you or the person that they are playing with and boxers absolutely love a bit of rough housing, followed by some lovely cuddles. Now they are super social with their family and develop strong attachments to their people. You'll find yourself with a faithful shadow when you bring one of these affectionate canines into your home. They do quite well with children of all ages thanks to their deep devotion to all members of the home. Now you'll want to socialise them early and often to prevent their high energy and guarding nature against becoming a problem when you, your children have friends over to play. 
Now, they can be similarly socialised to be accepting of small animals when they are raised with them, and it helps if the small animals are, are willing to stand their ground. Remember, boxers descend from dogs used to hunt big, ferocious game in the forest of Germany. Their prey drive is much lower now, but it is a trait to seriously consider when thinking about adding a boxer to your home. Each dog is an individual, and while this may be a general trait of the breed, you might find yourself with a boxer who loves all of the small animals in your home, as much as they love people but you also might find a boxer that has that prey drive really coming out of them and may want to be chasing potentially eating those small furry other friends that you keep in the home now the boxer is an incredible breed for the experienced canine leader their playful antics affectionate nature and guarding instincts make them an absolute joy to have in the right home now providing them with plenty of physical and mental exercise will ensure that their goofy antics are a quirk and not a destructive behavior. The boxer will thrive in a home with a calm, consistent canine leader who provides a lot of exercise and affection for this powerful breed. Now, like I say, this is one of the breeds that we absolutely adore here at Fenrir, and I hope you enjoyed that quick overview of their amazing temperament. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button, and don't forget, if you are new here, to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. We have two dedicated boxer videos coming here to this channel every single week, so I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Boxer Show.